Hello everyone. So today I've got another card tutorial for you today. You can see it's decorated with some lovely nautical papers which are Coastal by Nitwits. And this is a pinwheel tower card. Now it's not a new idea. I remember seeing them many years ago, but it involved having a piece going around here and here and then different score lines and all different pieces of card. And it all of a sudden came to me how to make this in a much easier way. So if you like this card, which by the way folds into a five by seven envelope, nice and flat. So it's nice and easy to post in a regular envelope. Keep watching and I'll show you how I made this. So for this card today, I've got two sheets of some red cardstock. And because I'm using the Coastal kit from Nitwits, I thought it would match quite nicely. So you're gonna need two sheets of cardstock. I've made four toppers, but you could just use your backing papers and add your own embellishments. And these were three and a quarter inches by four and three quarters. So you need four of them. And then you'll need four pieces, four and three quarters by one and three quarters. And they will go down the other side of each face of your card. And I've cut some board as well. I don't know if I'm gonna use them yet. But again, these were four and three quarters tall. So let's start with the cardstock. So I'm going to pull in my trimmer. I've cut them both at the same time. And I need to cut them into five inch squares. And we're going to need four of them. So there's my five inch. So I've got two squares there. and two squares there. So there are my four squares. So I'm gonna bring in my scoreboard and along each of them, doesn't matter which side you put on the top because they're five inch squares, I'm gonna score at one and a half. And the last one. And that's all our cutting and scoring done. See, I said it was going to be an easy method for this. So that's all I'm going to do now is fold all of these back. Now, I don't need it to be a sharp fold because it's not like a normal card. It will just bend like that. So I'm not going to be scoring them uh, really, really hard like that. Because we only need that 90 degrees, because the other times they're going to be open like that. So there's my four pieces. And we're going to be gluing them so that the outer edge of the L shape glues into each one as so. I hope that makes sense. So let's start with this one. And we're gonna, I'm gonna take my next one. I'm just gonna take my glue. So I'm using glue just because I can move it around a bit if I don't get it quite right the first time. So as I lift it up, let me turn it around. You want your short edge going inside and touching that longer edge of the other one. I mean, it's harder to explain it than it is to do it. So again, on the outside of this L shape. So I've got my long edge there. 
So this glued edge here is going to go onto that long edge. And again, on the outside of my L shape. So let's turn it over and it's going to go against this long edge. So I'm just open up my card. And then the last one is that first one we glued onto. We just need to bring that all the way inside. And that is our card base already assembled. And when you fold it, it'll then fold into a five by seven envelope. And then it's just a case of decorating it. So as I said, I went for the easy option. And in the coastal kit, there was this rectangle. So I just resized it to fit onto there. And it's just a case now of going around and gluing them in. To use a spot too much glue there. Let's just rub it off. So let me just get my Teflon tool. So here's the first one. A second one. So these toppers aren't purely in the kit. I did build them up myself. As I said, I adjusted the height and width of that rectangle to fit on. And then I just decoupage some of the images on top. So there's the second one. This time I went for the boats and the seagull. And you may notice I haven't really got any 3D elements here. You could do it, but I wouldn't use any thick foam pads because you do want the car to fold flat. Now the last one I did, I left it blank. So this is where the recipient can write their messages. Or sorry, the giver can write their messages. So if you're not confident making toppers and things yourself with the kits, just use your decorative papers and just decorate it as you wish then and stick some elements onto it. So that's our four toppers. Let's just put our decorative papers onto it. So I'm just putting it onto the opposing side. I do like this striped paper. It's sort of got a nice material texture to it, but it is just totally flat printed paper. And the last one. And there we are. That's your pinwheel tower with images on each side and some decorative paper. So that's it decorated in the most simple way. Obviously then you can go on and add some extra bits. So I could add that onto there. Down the middle. Whatever I want really. I'm going to leave them off for now 
rather than watch you, uh, watch me sticking them down. So thanks for watching. And if you do have a go at your own pinwheel tower card, and as you've seen, it's really quick, really easy. I'd love for you to share with me on my Facebook group. Just type in paper crafting with Paul, but you'll also find a link down below. So if you open up the description, you'll find the link as well to um, the kit that I used here from Nitwit. And please click that subscribe button. Give this card or film a thumbs up. And I'll see you all again soon.